Hi, so I uh, said that I would give you some more information about the system that I've been looking into that promises to help us know more about the way that we are made that as individual human beings and from there to be able to understand and identify more easily maybe the types of business that will work for us, the type of entrepreneur or innovator or business person that, that we are designed to be. And um, as I said in my email yesterday, it's really obvious when we look at physical characteristics that some of us are better suited to certain things than other things. I can't be a marathon runner. I couldn't be a ballet dancer. I couldn't be a princess. I just haven't got the makeup for any of those particular things. And I'm never going to be an astronaut. Um, on the other hand, you know, because of my physical build, there are things that I can do and I am good at, right? And knowing that and appreciating what my strengths are and what my weaknesses are is actually very liberating. So now if we extend that idea, just broaden it out to say, well, what if you can know not just about your physical characteristics, but your mental, your, your personal character, and even the various types of energy in your personality, in who you are. If you could understand those in detail, then just imagine the difference that it could make in your business life, your personal life, all kinds of areas. And that's what this system promises to tell you. So it's called Human Design, and I heard about it just a few months ago. It was, in fact, a uh, previous member of the Pro Web Design Alliance called Carissa Skirmont, who um, has been following this for a couple of years and happened to put me in touch with uh, a couple of guys who are working with it, and it's extremely fascinating. Um, I'm not going to try and explain to you what it is or how it works, because quite frankly, I don't really understand how it works. And the truth is that that probably doesn't even matter, right? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't understand how my computer works. It doesn't, you know, make any difference to the fact that I use it every day to do my business, right? I don't understand how the digital camera works on my computer. It's, it's uh, you know, I, and I don't have to understand those things in order to have the benefit of them. So human design, very briefly, uh, it's not been around for a, an awful long time, about 20 years, I think. And the guy who created the system, came up with the system, I think is, is now deceased. Um, and there have been f quite a few people working with it, picking it up over the last 20 or so years. One of those people is Christopher Power. And he's going to be on the webinar that we're running on Friday. That's Friday night UK time. So it's going to be early Saturday. If you're in the East, it's going to be um, kind of evening time, afternoon time in the US. So I'll confirm the dates and the exact times later and give you a link for it. Um, so Christopher's an interesting guy. And, you know, he's been through the mill with lots of personal development and spiritual exploration stuff. Um, what his particular area of innovation, I think, or what he, he brings to this, is applying the principle of human design to business, to people like us who may consider ourselves innovators or entrepreneurs. And um, that's, that's what I'm finding very interesting. I've, I've had a consultation with him, and um, you know we've started to look at the factors that that make me up and it really is starting to help me to understand why i keep hitting this wall every time i have tried to build a business myself i've hit the same wall time and time and time again and the fact is there are reasons for that because the bottom line is and this is this is really weird um years and years ago about 2004 2005 i used to be on a networking site called eCademy and I remember it comes back to me the profile that I put on there um, the very first line of my description about who I was is that 
I'm an incomplete entrepreneur. And I, there's, there's a lot of truth in that. And I, so I knew back then, I knew back in 2004, that there were gaps in my capability. And it's like, you know, there's, my height is my height, my weight is my weight, my strength and my stamina are the way they are. There may be things that I can do about some of them, but I can't be six foot two, right? There's not, I'm 5'10", and I'm always going to be pretty much 5'10", unless I shrink a bit as I get older. Uh, and, you know, these are facts. And it, I, it seems to me that it's a fact that there are certain things that I am not designed to do or designed to do well. And I think that what I've been doing for 20 years or more in this business is trying to, quite frequently, trying to do things that I'm not meant to do. And that is why the things are frustrating. That's why I'm frustrated. That's why things fail. Um, and this, the important thing to understand is this isn't a limitation. This doesn't limit what I can actually achieve in my career, in my life, in the world. And I want to achieve big things in the world. Because understanding what I can and can't do, you know, what I'm good at and not so good at, allows me, enables me, empowers me to go and find the partners that I need to be partnering with in order to achieve certain things. So, and you know, that's one of the areas. Human design is fantastically complex. Um, it's quite accessible to get into, but then it's, it's like, you know, you can just keep peeling away the layers and every time you find out more. Um, and one of the really interesting areas is to do with team dynamics and how to put together a team. So right now, um, I haven't mentioned anything about this, but I'm, I'm looking at a new business venture and I'm presently looking for one partner or possibly more to help me set it up. And I know that my role will be CEO because that suits my vision and my attributes and the things that I'm good at doing and the things I like to do, which is important. Um, and yet I know that I can't build this on my own. I need other people. So the process that I'm working through um, with Christopher's course is helping me to understand not just the kind of uh, team members that I need to be looking for, but also how to make decisions, how to make effective decisions in my life that are based on how this is made. Okay, so that's really, that's why I'm excited about the possibility of, of human design. Um, and like I said, I can't tell you how it works. It's got elements of astrology, of the I Ching, the ancient Chinese, whatever it is, fortune telling system, and Kabbalah, and all kinds of, you know, quite esoteric stuff. Um, and, you know, that you may believe in that, some of that stuff, you may not believe in some of that stuff. And ultimately, it doesn't actually matter because it's not going to make any difference as to whether it works. There's, there's a great story that I love um, about the, the famous physicist Niels Bohr. And I, th I think he might have worked on the Manhattan Project, the atom bomb project in the Second World War. And so very, very respected physicist. And a, a, a professional friend was visiting him and he noticed that Niels had nailed to his front door a horseshoe, right? Which is, you know, folklore tells us is a sign of good luck. And the guy said, Niels, surely you, as a respected nuclear physicist, you know, don't believe that having a horseshoe on your front door will bring you luck. And Niels turns to the guy and he says, I don't believe it, but I, I am reliably informed that it will bring me good luck whether I believe in it or not. All right? So you don't have to under understand how stuff works. You know, we don't understand the workings of the human mind. We don't understand the workings of the, the human kidneys for goodness sake, you know, the world is extraordinarily complex. And, you know, human design is not, I wouldn't say it's not the, the answer to everything. It's like a notation. It's like a way of mapping out 
your personal unique configuration, right? And then also knowing that, you know, knowing exactly how you're made, you can identify your strengths and your weaknesses, and you know how to make this machine that you are, right, this incredibly complex, beautiful, wonderful, unique, completely unique thing, lets you know how to get the best results out of it. And that's it. So on Friday, uh, late UK time, afternoon, evening, US time, we're going to be holding a, uh, a short webinar. It's going to be about 45, 60 minutes long, where you'll get to meet Christopher and Daryl. Um, has got no another fascinating story as well. And Carissa's going to be on there. And I'll be on there. And we're going to um, Christopher and Daryl and Carissa will uh, explain a little bit more than I can about what this thing is and how you can use it. And then we'll have time for uh, questions and answers after that. We may carry on for a little bit longer. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Um, I will be letting you know more details. I'll give you the link where you can register. It's completely free, no obligation or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, hope to see you there. And, um, you know, we can all find out a little bit more about human design and how we as innovators or as entrepreneurs, whatever we are, how we can get the best results possible for who we are in our lives. See you then.